that, ayy Cobra X, ayy Couple Grammys on him Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Shiver here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do the insane tra transition that you've just seen on screen. The transition is really simple and should take like under five minutes, so just stay tuned to know how to do it. So, like usual, we're starting from where we have the velocity, the clip synced, and everything. So, the first thing you're gonna do is go on to the start of your second clip. You're gonna go one frame forward, split the clip, um, then you're gonna press Control C. Then from here, you're going to go 20 frames back, like that. I'll just add a marker so I know where it is. Control C, Control V it, extend it like that. And then you're going to right click it, insert, uh, remove envelope velocity. Sorry, not velocity, freeze frame add cursor, like that. Alright, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, also you're gonna extend the clip right over here. So, it was like this for you maybe? You're gonna make it go like that. Now, what you're gonna do, this is the annoying part. You're gonna go into pan and crop. Uh, click on mask. Make sure this one's selected, anchor creation tool. I'm just gonna make this a lot bigger. So it's easier to mask. And then you're just gonna mask all around it. Alright, take your time. Because the more time you take, the better it'll look. Alright, so just like this. And I'll see you when I'm done masking. Alright, so now I am done masking. And now I'm gonna X this out. And it should look something like this. Alright, so there should be the background of this. Of the first clip. And then you should see the character like that. So now... You're gonna look up Blurmo Curves. By the way, you have to have Sapphire plugins for this. Drag it onto the clip. You're gonna keyframe shift. I'm gonna make this smaller. Keyframe shift Y. Make this negative 500. Then you're gonna go to the end and make this zero. All right, now you're gonna add a one frame fade like that yeah that looks good now you're gonna go into the description and download my preset it's a beat shake preset you're gonna drag it on and that'll just make it look 10 times better like this alright so that looks really good in my opinion. And as you can see, it was really easy and simple, and it's already done. You have your transition. So if you did enjoy this video and it did help you out, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.